Hello, this is Chris with Solutions and if this is your first time on my channel, welcome! I make videos on graphic design and internet tips and tricks. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fade an image into a background right in Photoshop. So if you're ready, let's go! Alright, so this is the image that we'll be using for this tutorial. So I'm going to drag it right into my work area. Okay, so I'll minimize the image to fill up the canvas, like so. And yeah, I'm going to zoom out, okay. Let me minimize it further, like so. Alright, then I'll position it using my hand tool. So there are two ways to fade um, an image into a background in Photoshop. So I'll be showing you both methods in this video, alright, so stick around. To the very end of the video so the first method is by using what we call the gradient tool okay right here okay so this is your gradient tool okay so first of all before you use your gradient tool you have to create um, a mask a layer mask on the image okay and to do that it's um pretty simple you just go to go to where you have your this um icon here like so where well, you have this very icon here and then okay you click it all right so you have successfully created a layer mask and the next thing i'm gonna do is that uh, i'm gonna pick my my gradient tool all right so ensure that um your foreground color is set to black because black color hides and white color reveals okay so ensure that your foreground color is set to black and right here your where you have your gradient option okay you click this and ensure that um the first color is set to black and the other color is um, transparent so ensure you pick the second option which is your transparent mode so as you can see here, it says foreground to transparent meaning it's going to go from black to transparent all right so you click ok and then you take your gradient to all right from the bottom Okay, take it to the top like this. Okay, you take it gradually and gradually. Okay, so when you as you take it upwards, the image gradually fades it's into the background, giving it a really cool faded in effect. Okay, so this is the first method that you can use in fading your image into a background. Alright, so the second method is pretty much like the first, okay, but this time we are gonna make use of the brush tool right here okay so this is the brush tool okay as you can see okay now the first thing we're gonna do like we did in the first step we're gonna create a layer mask for our image right here okay all right so you now get to where you have right here at the bottom where you have your layer mask like like this okay so you now get to where you have your layer mask all right this is the icon here and then you click it okay and the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna pick our brush tool right here okay so this is your your brush tool right here now you can also pick your pick your brush tool by pressing the letter b on the keyboard okay so you can press the letter b to also pick up your brush tool all right so i go right ahead like right here to pick up my brush tool like this and so at the top right here ensure you select a soft brush okay so you come here and ensure that um you select a soft brush okay like so or something like this and you set the hardness to zero and also you can increase the size of the brush to suit whatever um size okay you want okay but it should not be too small more like this it should be pretty big okay something like this is okay all right so you can increase it further like this okay all right so after picking your brush tool now you ensure that your foreground color is set to black all right so set your foreground color to black and then you're going to brush off from the bottom of the image like this so just brush it off like so gradually okay you take it off take off the uh, take off the image gradually okay now if 
uh, mistakenly you brush off a part of the image that you actually did not intend to brush off so don't panic there's a simple fix to this all you just need to do is to come right here um, where you have your foreground color okay now click on this little arrow here to reverse the order okay so you set your foreground color to white by clicking this arrow right here so i click this now as you can see the order has changed so my foreground color is set to white and my background color is set to black so so set your foreground color to white and then you navigate to the image okay and just begin to brush off those areas that you want to restore okay so as you can see as i take my brush over the image it quickly restores those those part of the image that i mistakenly brushed off earlier okay so let me let me just redo the whole process so let me reverse the order once again right here okay i'm i'm going to reverse the order again like okay so i'm going to reverse the order again so i take my uh, foreground color set to black and i come back to my image and i begin to brush off okay like so like so like so like so all right so this is how you fade an image into a background in photoshop so i'm sure you had value from this video okay so if you did please give this video a like share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips tricks and tutorials so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe